it is graduation time once again on Biz Asia America in our week-long look at the challenges facing the latest batch of graduates from around the world and job seekers. It's not easy out there for the young people. The International Labor Organization says 73 million people, young that is, are out of work. That's 12.5% of the youth working population. These are 15 to 24 year olds who are not in school but are in the workforce or looking for jobs. Moreover, Young people are nearly three times as likely to be young, unemployed. The ratio of jobless young people to adults is 2.7 to 1. The problem is particularly difficult in Europe. The youth unemployment rate there in the Eurozone is more than 24%. That's double of the region's average. Nowhere is this felt more than in Spain and Greece. Both countries have rates exceeding 50% for the young unemployed, which means at least one out of two young people is out of work. Ireland is close behind Spain and Greece with roughly 30% of youth unemployed. And that has led many of the country's most talented graduates to seek jobs overseas. Laura Sexton reports. Ireland is witnessing an epidemic similar to what it witnessed in the 1980s, mass immigration. One in four Irish families have seen a family member immigrate in the past two years. Many of these young, bright and highly educated graduates battling with soaring youth unemployment rates and little job prospects. A recent survey conducted by the National Youth Council of Ireland on youth immigration found that half of the 18 to 24 year olds living in Ireland have considered immigrating, keen to seek better work prospects. Well, an awful lot of opportunity in Ireland at the minute is coming around the STEM subjects, so science and technology, engineering and maths. Those are the graduates that tend to stay longer in Ireland, but we're seeing a, a wider spread of graduates generally leaving the country because of the opportunities in terms of the money they can get, the pensions, the benefits they could accrue from those jobs elsewhere. It's just much more, be much more beneficial to them in the long run being outside of Ireland. So we're now seeing the best and brightest that we have got through our high education system uh, being exported for, for no, no other reason they can't get the opportunity here. Claire Cullen is one of the many graduates who left in search of work to Australia for 10 months and has now returned and found a job. She says that while her experience was good, the grass is not always greener abroad. Myself, I think there's only one girl in my house, for example, who actually ended up in something anyway related to her degree. She had a science degree and she ended up in recruitment for science jobs. So. I don't think that it's as easy to get degree related work as it has been made out to be. It's easy to get work, just maybe not what you're actually looking for. Of the 300,000 Irish people who left the country in the past four years, over 40% of them are under 24, with the UK, Canada and Australia the most popular choices for graduates seeking work. The big worry here in Ireland is will these graduates come back and reinvest their education into the Irish economy? Lourdes Sexton, CCTV, Dublin.